Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, very well, thank you. Did you enjoy the event tonight? Oh, I loved it, but I love it every year. We've always been such big supporters of Amna Mansi and the EAs since the inaugural edition, and it's just an incredible thing to see it grow in such a spectacular way. How do you see this event contributing to the entrepreneurial ecosystem? So it's an amazing thing, you know, as entrepreneurs, we work behind the scenes. Um, and it's such a joyful thing to feel that someone is noticing the hard work that we do in incredibly challenging circumstances. It's challenging for any entrepreneur in any ecosystem. In Egypt, it's especially challenging um, to try and innovate and to cut across the red tape to do something special. And to feel that once a year someone notices that and applauds for that is very, very special. And I've been, you know, as a sponsor of this event from year one and also as a jury member, I've noticed the um, impact it's had on other entrepreneurs. And I've had so many entrepreneurs come and tell me, you know, being nominated and not winning has inspired me to work harder to do something this year. And other people work very hard throughout the year to gain the credentials required in order to um, compete. And so I think it's also set this kind of goal and benchmark for entrepreneurs in the ecosystem. So for Amy, what's the key to success? So I always say the same thing and it sounds very cliche, but it's very true. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of talented people in the world and there's a lot of very creative people in the world and there's so many people who have ideas. But I think at the end, what separates the people who are able to make something sustainable out of that is persistence and resilience and grit and it's really having the heart and the passion to get up every morning whatever the circumstances and just keep on going that's absolutely true what's the one piece of advice you would give to young entrepreneurs dream big but work very 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 hard there are no shortcuts okay but about dreaming so dream big or be realistic because there's a very oh. thin line. I never know when to dream big and when to be like <laughs> being realistic. <laughs> being realistic isn't going to get you anywhere, right? You've got to set your goals up here somewhere, but you also have to and you have to keep those goals in mind. But you also have to understand. And I think, you know, I've seen so many people have these very big dreams and they just want the, the shininess of the success, not necessarily without the horrifically hard work that goes with it and I think you have to be prepared to be humble and you have to be prepared to roll your sleeves up and get your hands dirty and get a lot of muck underneath your fingernails and to really scratch your way to what you want to do. So what's one failure that's taught you the most? As a successful person there must be many but people don't look at that yeah, usually. You know, I mean absolutely every single day I mean we are here I always say that the most definitive moments of our journey as move for have always been the failures have always been the hardest moments we started uh, at the company at a time before there was something even called an ecosystem we didn't even have the semantics or the terminology for it we had no advice we had no benchmark we had no blueprint we had no mentors we had none of that and so we messed up every single day i certainly messed up as a leader so many times we messed up operationally we messed up financially we messed up in all the po we never messed up creatively we're all fucking creative <laughs> but we messed up in all the other ways but every single one of those and i never you know again it's cliche but i never call them failures they were lessons and they were learnings that got us where we are today and even the stuff that came from outside of us the stuff that was imposed on us also helped us to adapt um, and there were horrific things that seemed very unfair at the time but they forced us to be more innovative and more imaginative and without a doubt that is what got us here today well i'm so proud of you personally you're such an inspiration and i'm so glad we did this interview that means a lot to me thank you